Yesterday, Tom Cruise revealed during an interview for his latest film, The Mummy, that Top Gun 2 was in the works and looking to possibly begin production as early as next year. Now, Variety is reporting that Cruise met with potential helmers while filming Mission Impossible 6, and it's his own Oblivion director, Joseph Kaczynski, that has emerged as the frontrunner for the job. While no official offer has been made, several of Variety's sources believe an offer is imminent. Top Gun 2 seems to be a sure thing now, however, a release date has not been set. Christian, thoughts on Kaczynski possibly helming Top Gun 2? To quote the great Lou Brown from Angel League, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, it's, Kaczynski makes movies look cool, but his movies have just been kind of dull. Uh, Oblivion was dull. Tron was dull. I, I don't know. I, I know that he was kind of touted as being like this next great thing with Tron and and I know Cruz obviously had a good time working with him, and he likes his pitch the best out of what he wants to do with Top Gun. The thing that gives me hope is that, uh, and I mentioned this yesterday on the show, is that I think Justin Marks is a really good writer, and I think Justin Marks gets this time period, as, meaning like the 80s movies and those kind of feels. I know this can be a completely different movie, but the characters themselves and where this character could go, Justin Marks is the reason why I'm still hyped about this movie. Um, I'm, not, I'm not high on Kaczynski yet. Now, I could change that tomorrow. Top Gun 2 comes out, and I love it. And I go, well, it was certainly the right choice. Very similar to what we were talking about with Matt Reeves with, um, with Planet of the Apes. I think that depending on how it comes out, what his approach turns out to be, I can be on board. But right now, it's just kind of like, eh. Yeah, uh, Oblivion was not a good movie. I mean, some of you may have liked it, and that's great. That's the beautiful thing about film. It's all subjective. To me, it was not a good movie. I was massively disappointed in that Boring. film, especially since I thought the marketing campaign was actually pretty good. Um, and I was really disappointed by it. And I, I got to be honest, I was underwhelmed with Tron. I didn't think Tron was all that good either. So now look, I didn't think either of them were massive stink bombs. So, so there's that. And if Tom Cruise has faith in him, bully for that. I mean, that's wonderful. That's great. But I can't get excited about the idea of this guy directing Top Gun. That doesn't mean the, that it won't work out. It doesn't mean the movie wouldn't be great. I'm just saying at this point, just having to go on the information that's in front of us didn't like the two films he's done previously, so I don't know how I can get excited about this. Perry? Yeah, I'm kind of you know in the same position as you guys. I I thought both of those movies were fine. I kind of enjoyed while I was watching them, but at the same time they didn't really leave an impression. And I can understand what you guys say when you say that they were dull because they they have those moments. I do trust Tom Cruise as in in a producerial role when it comes to him picking directors. So. If Kaczynski came to him with a good idea and a good vision for the film, I'm going to trust that instinct on, on uh, Cruz's part. The one thing that makes me think that he might be the most appropriate person or one of the most appropriate people to direct the movie is the whole drone thing, just because he clearly has an interest in technology. Mm -hmm. He has directed action. That could be a good combination that really sparks something in him to really liven up that kind of stuff. But then again, I can look at the other side of it and say... If those two movies could be described as dull and we're talking about a Top Gun movie, but with drones, if drones are not shot the right way, that can be a very dull thing to cover. And the movie that gives me a good example for that is, is Good Kill. Did any of you ever see that? No. With, uh, with Ethan Hawke? I'm fascinated by drones, and I love that whole dilemma of, you know, should we, shouldn't we, how do we best use them and all that. But that was a, that was a movie where I think it had solid performances and a, and a good idea, and, and something about the way that it was shot and done kind of like sucked the life out of it. So I just don't want to see that happen here, but I'm, I'm inclined to believe that it won't if we're talking about... You you know, the dueling of what we saw in Top Gun versus modern day drone warfare. Maybe there's going to be a blend. What do you think, Ken? Well, uh, number one, it helps to be Tom Cruise's friend. Hail Pete. <laughs> um, <laughs> that will get you a lot of work. Um, I'm also going to be followed home today. Um, uh, but yeah, the dull thing, it, it, Tron didn't jump off, right? It didn't uh, do, do much. But his next movie, I'm uh, reading about a Granite Mountain, which is the story of 19 firefighters from the great city of Prescott, Arizona, who died fighting a big wildfire. Right. If he can bring some kind of life to that, yeah. it, 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 Jennifer Connelly, Josh Brolin, maybe, maybe. But you don't need a lot of life in Top Gun 2, I don't think, right? You just need to have some flashy things, some homoerotic beach volleyball, and you're all right. <laughs> so Tom Cruise can Playing tell him how to do with that. Yes, yeah, I don't. I, I, but I'm but it doesn't was, excite. Yeah. But it doesn't excite, and that's the thing. Is this is just kind of a, to me, this is a, this is a nostalgia piece right now. Like, I see, but I think that's that's in order to make Top Gun two work, you have to do more than just the flashy stuff. I think that that's that's the. the I think the, if you just do a flashy piece, that's how you're going to lose people. I think that you have to go a little bit more I into agree. Pete Independence Mitchell. Day resurgence is example exactly. Like, but I mean, he's a much better director than Emmerich, for God's sure, sakes. But, but yes, exactly what you're saying. But I think that 
they need to develop characters more. And that's why I'm excited about Justin Marks and seeing what they can do. What's happened with Pete Mitchell? You know, who's the new pilot that's coming in? Like, what's this new force that he's going to be working Zach with? Zach Efron. <laughs> I, I, no, I don't, I don't think that's I don't, crazy. I don't, I, don't that. I don't think that's a crazy idea because I think that Efron, Efron just needs to fire his agents, but that's another story.